Hi, this is Sarai. I'm in Jerusalem. So the children are playing here. These are the Jewish children riding their bikes around. I want to tell you what happened after I left the first Messianic Jewish church in Jerusalem. That was King of Kings where they were not loving to me. So I only stayed like five minutes. And then I looked online for another Messianic Jewish congregation uh, because at the Abraham Hostel, uh, where I met a lot of Christian Jews, several of them were going to a certain uh, Messianic Jewish congregation. So I ended up finding it and walking there. Well, this man just said something to me in Hebrew, but I don't know what he said. <clears throat> so I walk there and I heard about half of the sermon of the pastor and they read from the Torah and they had the Torah scrolls that they brought all through the church uh, for everyone to touch and I touched the Torah scrolls too so that was good anyway we had um, the bread and wine there and when I partook of it I felt a lot of Holy Spirit more than I have felt before it almost brought me to tears so the people at this Messianic Jewish congregation were very loving because they did not have the Satanic Star of David displayed in their church. Okay, they had the menorah. There is a menorah in heaven. So I was so happy that they did not have the Satanic Star of David. And it was a completely different atmosphere. There are a lot of people there, uh, Messianic Jews, Christian Jews that were worshiping and celebrating the Sabbath. And I was really surprised to see that the pastor, well, he, he did the uh, sermon in Hebrew, but they did have a translator in English because there were Christians from all over the world there. I think there were about 200 people. Uh, so it was interpreted, which was nice, but when I was looking at the pastor, I noticed that he had a gun in, um, in his belt in the back. I was like, wow, this is amazing that a pastor has a gun. So that was surprising to see, and I did meet him afterward, and I asked him if he used to be an IDF soldier, and he said yes. So I said, wow, that's really surprising. You have a gun uh, in your belt. And he said, yes, uh, that's so, no, everyone knows they can't mess around with me because I have this gun. So one thing about, um, just walking around every Jewish city I've been in, there are a lot of men and a few women, young men and young Jewish men and women that have big automatic rifles that they're carrying around. Some of these are dressed as soldiers, but a lot of them just have their uh, casual clothes on and they're carrying these huge automatic weapons so it's really unusual because you never see this in america uh, so this is what i've been noticing but as far as this um, um, congregation i went to today it, it was loving um, we had lunch afterward and i met a lot of people we had a lot of really good conversations uh, so I just wanted to let you know what happened at my uh, second Messianic Jewish congregation that I went to.
Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.